have her introduce Sanbei. Is Yuhi here on the call? I don't believe so. So I, if we could just hit her um, video. It, the, it's a doc. If you can, please read that. Sure, of course. So I'm going to be reading this on behalf of um, Juhi. She was a she is a software engineer at Microsoft, and her mentee's name is Sun Veyi, and a seventh grader at Rancho Middle School. Um, they have worked on a Python project to play tic tac toe and card memory games. Sun Veyi learned Python for this project and also used a graphics library for the card memory game. She is a fast learner and can grasp new concepts very well. I saw her confidence in the project um, go up gradually throughout the last few months. Julie is very excited to introduce Sunbei to you all. The floor is yours. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Sunbei Rasay. I'm uh, in seventh grade in Rancho Middle School. My mentor is Juhi, and she works at Microsoft as a software engineer. And in Microsoft, she works in React and TypeScript, and she uses those for the OneDrive website. She is from India, and she moved from India to the United States in 2017, and she is currently in Seattle. Her hobbies include learning Japanese and reading books, and she has a pet cat. Um, my first project is a tic-tac-toe game. It is, it is a three-level difficulty tic-tac-toe game put it in Python. And uh, I wanted to do this project so I can learn how to code in Python and how games are created. And while doing this project, I learned more about Python coding principles, data structures, and algorithms. In data structures, I learned about lists and nested lists. And in coding principles, I learned about loops, nested loops, and functions. And in algorithms, I learned about a random number generator and a child selector array. And in this demo, I'm running the finish to get to a so first I enter a difficulty. So one, two, or three for easy, medium, or hard. And then I enter a row number and a column number. And the, it's printed out, one move, and then the computer's move. And then I'll do another move. And the word changes. And then I win. Then I try the second difficulty, which is medium. So I enter a column and row, the computer responds. It doesn't block me yet, but it will block me on my second, uh, third move. And then I lost because the computer uh, was smart. And then I choose the hard hardest, which is level three. And the computer makes this move. My second project is a memory game. It is a three level memory game coded in Python. And I wanted to do this because I want to learn how to uh, use UIs and graphics uh, and how they work in Python. Uh, in this project, I learned more about Python, coding principles, data structures, algorithms, and graphics. In graphics, I learned about tpinter, which has buttons, labels, text inputs, windows, and a geometry frame. And in coding principles, I learned about classes and global variables. 
Um, these are some functions of the code that I think are the most important. And functions are chunks of code that are, that are repeated. So um, one function that I think was the most important was the create grid function, which creates the layout for the cards. Um, I also think the mode function is important because it changes some factors in the create grid function, which makes the game harder or easier. And I also think the win or lose function is important because it checks if you matched all the cards or if you couldn't. Uh, in the demo, I'm running the finished game. So I choose the EVS level. And I have an, another window for uh, numbers left, buttons clicked, or buttons left, and match cards. So I click on two cards. If they're a pair, they turn green. If not, they're still red. So then I want to, I want to run, I can play again. So uh, below are the pictures of the five by six uh, grid layout and the four by four grid layout. So once, once you're done with one game, you can uh, go back, play again, and choose another difficulty. Uh, my magical experience, some highlights are learning how to code in Python since, since um, I never knew how to code and that was my first language, and learning how to use tpinter and graphics. So lesson learned are how to make computer respond to the user input. Uh, so that means um, when the user types something, the computer should be able to respond to it. So in my tic-tac-toe game, when the user typed in their input, the computer didn't show its move. So I had to debug the code so the computer would uh, make its move after the player. And then uh, another lesson learned is how to make buttons clickable in a specific way. So what was happening was when the user uh, click the button, it should flip the button and show the symbol. But in my memory game, at first, when the button was clicked, you could click the button multiple times and then also unclick the button. So I fixed the code so the user would only be able to click the button once. Uh, some challenges in the tic-tac-toe game was making the logic for the computer to win and stop the user from winning. And in the memory game, a challenge was making the user, user see the second card they clicked. So uh, me and my mentor, we tried to add a timeout, but that didn't work out. So we just found another. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your projects, Sanvei. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, I have one question. So how do you define the difficulty level? I mean, um, in, in the tic-tac-toe, so you said like there are three difficulty levels, right? So how was, uh, uh, what was different to make it a difficulty level increase? I mean, how, do, how did you uh, define that? So the, how I separated the difficulty levels was that for the easy mode, uh, the computer would just randomly place its mark. but uh, for the hard mode, it would be evaluating how the player is moving so to see if it's winning or not, if the player is winning. So then the computer would block the player. But in the medium, half the time it would be guessing and half the time it would be trying to block the player. So that's how I uh, made the three levels. Sanvai, thank you for that lovely presentation. My question was, can you... Tell me what kind of things can you do with a geometry frame? So with a geometry frame, it, it just, uh, you can show like different shapes and layouts. So that's what it's used for. So for this, I use the geometry frame for the layout of my cards. 
There's also a question in the chat. I can read it from. It's from Robert saying, how do you feel about coding now compared to when you started? So when I started, I thought coding was something hard. And I thought I won't be able to do it at all. But with magic and through uh, doing all these projects, I thought coding is actually pretty simple once you learn how to do it. And I now love coding. I want to do more projects with you. Oh, it's, it's always wonderful to hear um, that someone lo still loves to do something after spending um, an entire school year working on something, because <laughs> certainly sometimes it happens that it's the other way around, too. So I'm, I'm so happy to hear that you found a love of coding. Um, does anyone else have any um, last minute questions for Sanvei? No, but there are some comments in the chat. I think Menti should just be looking at all the kudos they're getting in chat. Yeah. Yes, tons, tons of kudos and smiley faces floating and all that fun stuff. So make sure to be checking those out. Um, 